now it's kind of looking like like that, just off to the let's see. Come on. Oh, it looks like it's still gonna hit. Yep, still hits. So sure if the assembly uh, we could turn it later okay so this goes in Ooh, this is gonna be tight okay that's it right there I'm actually going to try just tightening this that's counterclockwise, that's loosening a little bit, so that we can see it. Um, there it is, I don't know if you can see all that, but that's the deal. Um, I might as well go ahead and adjust this so that you can see. There we go. A little bit of a zoom in. Is that going to fit on all okay? day? Yep. Let's turn that on and uh, we're going to get a whole bunch of steam. A bunch of steam. So I'm going to do a quick cut of some cable or some hose. This is. Uh, just some quarter inch line. Picked up a bit of it. Uh, also at Home Depot. Um, just cutting a bit off and sticking it on the end. It's a little knurled thing here. Shouldn't let the water get too hot because uh, Oh, that's right. So look at that. Automatically, we want to stick something underneath the portafilter. And let me turn this, turn the valve all the way clockwise. That turns it off. Don't know if you can see the valve. Gonna zoom in a little bit more. Now let's turn this puppy on and see what we got. Uh, quick update here, as quick as I can. Um, what I found out was that I should not have had the porta filter, um, the basket, I mean, in the porta filter. Because in the basket, what seals is this top, this top ring right here seals to the gasket. And when you're normally brewing, that's fine because everything goes through here and then goes through the bottom. There's no pressure on the outside. But since I had blocked off the bottom of the porta filter, the entire porta filter was pressurized. Um, and what that meant was pressure was coming back up underneath. And there's not a really good seal between the porta filter and this. So my mistake, take the basket out, then put it in. That way the top of the porta filter is uh, mating against the, the gasket. Um, I don't know if you can see the gauge there. I have the valve turned all the way off. Um, it's reading 180 pounds. 130 pounds for PSI is uh, um, 9 bars. So we crack this a little bit. Um, cracking the hose. And right now, that's what I'm getting, about 139 bars I'm getting 
this kind of flow. I don't know if that's good or not. That's uh, not a whole lot of flow. It's definitely not. Um, well, I don't think it's. Um, what was it? Uh, oh, come on! What was it? Thirty. And it's supposed to be like three, three, four tablespoons or something like that in ten seconds. Um, that's uh, or fifty cc's in ten, ten seconds, and that's I don't think that's what that is. Um, so um, still got some stuff to look at here, but still working on it. Got a little bit further. Uh, but that's the that's how the, the gauge works and uh, it actually does work so that's a good thing <laughs> uh, what we did and what was done worked so that's how you make your own gauge and you can test yourself ciao